Welcome to Fun Uber Games. So there's an article today. It's about a story from back in 2012 of a man who won a million dollars in the lottery. He owned a scratch-off ticket, but he was murdered prior to getting his money, to collecting. So it was ruled murder by cyanide poisoning, but they haven't found the killer. Aruj Khan, he owned a um, dry cleaning business in, in Chicago. He was 46 years old. He, um, he actually swore off the lottery. He did this whole um, trip to Mecca, and I guess it changed his... Talks about in the article here about changed his life, and he was going to say no more gambling. But... He just bought, I guess, two on a whim, two scratch-off tickets in 2012, and he hit a million dollars. So it's kind of interesting how that happened, but but he got the. They even show a picture with the with the novelty check with his family, his wife, his daughter, his father-in-law, his brothers, and. Um, he never actually got the million dollars because he he was murdered. It's kind of a crazy story. Money leads to problems. Everybody wishes, I wish I would have won that. Why can't I be this lucky? And sometimes the people who get these big wins, their life is ruined. Well, his life was really ruined, but other people go through a lot of stress. People suing them, people trying to get money from them. So sometimes it's probably better if we don't win, but we still want to win, of course, um, because we always think it's going to be the greatest thing in the world. And um, and what happened was they initially ruled it um, a heart attack, and then her, his brother he kept telling the, the police and the um the hospital and whoever he could talk to that it wasn't a heart attack. It was murder. There was no way my brother wasn't murdered. I'm confident of it because it's such, such a suspicious situation. So they exhumed the body and they, um, they did more of an autopsy and they did see there was cyanide in his blood, but they weren't able to get enough information to find out, like, did how long before other things occurred to try to pinpoint uh, a, a, a particular timeline to his murder. So it's just kind of like a, one of those unsolved cases. And his daughter ended up going through a big legal battle with the, his new wife, because his daughter was from his first marriage. And his daughter ended up getting one-third of the lotto winnings. And it mentions in here, and his wife got two-thirds of the lotto winnings. Yeah, Jasmine, oh, she got property of $250,000 and one-third of the lotto winnings. And his wife, Shabana, his second wife, kept two-thirds of the lotto winnings. And his dry-cleaning business, was, which was worth a million dollars. So it seems like the wife had the most to benefit because shortly before his murder, he changed his will. He didn't have a will. He changed it to giving everything to his current wife. But without actual evidence, it's hard to convict someone. Um, although they do seem to convict a lot of people on circumstantial evidence these days. But I guess in this case, they didn't want to pursue that and um the, the man is he moved here from from india they, they mention it somewhere in the article and i can't it's hyderabad hyderabad india in 89 and he started a life here had a success, successful business and that city is in the southern part of India, in case you were curious. But what do you think about this story? It sounds fishy. I'll leave a link to the article in the description. 
What do you think? Who do you think murdered him? Or do you think maybe it wasn't murder? It was um, he died of natural causes? Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.